Welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph. Yesterday we asked the question, how can I meet the person of God? And so that little pathway to walk from where you are right now in the natural into the presence of God is an important pathway. And it's something that you can practice. And the more times you walk this pathway, the easier it is to get there. Now, once you are in the presence of God and you are at the throne of God, you are in the garden with the Lord or you are in a cloud of glory with the Father or even in His river. doesn't matter which one of those four places you go to. But um, once you're there, then the Lord will instruct you. He'll speak to you. He will tell you what to do. But it's important for us to realize how can I get there. Now, the first time I wanted to get there, it took me a very long time. <laughs> it actually took me a few days because I had to fast and pray and pray in tongues and read scriptures and make declarations. And then finally, it opened up for me. Now, for my kids, it was a lot easier. I could just show them how to do it. This is the pathway. And I could be there right immediately. They maybe didn't appreciate it as much as I did the first time. Because they didn't have to work as much as I did to get there. But I wanted to die just go with you that pathway what we're going to do we're going to start right here in the natural realm and we're going to walk through the pathway until we are with the father in the garden that's what we're going to do okay now you can use the same pathway that we're going to practice also to go to the throne room of god we can go to the river of the father we can go into the cloud that veil of the cloud where god is now Jesus is the tour guide. And so what usually happens, once I enter through Jesus into the realm of heaven, Jesus is always there to take my hand and to take me to where the Father is. All right? And so even as I sit here, I really feel that Jesus is saying to me, I want to take you to the Father that is in the garden. Okay, so that's why we're going to go to the garden. So I, I, I kind of try to listen to what Jesus says. Do you want to go to the river? Do you want to go to the Father that's in glory? Do you want to go to the throne room? He said to me, let's go to the garden. The Father is waiting for us. Okay, so the first thing we want to do uh, when we want to enter in is we maybe just want to apply the blood of Jesus on our lives. Okay, And so I want to encourage you, if there's any person that you haven't forgiven in your life, just sit there and say, Lord, I forgive them. Now, remember, forgiveness first starts with an action. You say it with your mouth. You might have to go to them and say, I forgive you. You might just have to come before God and say, I forgive you. That's an action. And then secondly, you have to also do it in your soul. So every time your soul wants to rise up with anger or bitterness, you have to tell your soul, no soul, forgive them. And then finally, forgiveness comes out of your spirit. So it takes maybe a few minutes a few weeks to forgive with your action it takes maybe a few months to forgive with your soul it could even take a year to forgive someone with your heart the more you forgive and the more you get used to forgiveness and the probably the less severe the the action is that the person sinned against you probably the easiest going to be to forgive someone but you still have to forgive Okay, that's the one thing. And then the other thing is, if there is sin or activity or a continuous action that you do that's contrary to what God is calling you to do, what the Holy Spirit is saying you can do, then that becomes a sin to you. And you have to repent of those things. And so a sin is simply just to turn towards darkness and repent is simply to turn towards light. So let's do that a bit first. As a father, we come before you. Jesus, we, we love you. Holy Spirit, thank you that you are inside of us. And Lord, we come in humility before you and we want to repent. And so, Lord, we come and we apply the blood of Jesus. We apply the blood of Jesus to our lives, to our thoughts, to our imagination and to every part of our life. Lord, we think about the people that have sinned against us in our lives. And Lord, we make a conscious decision with our mind, with our soul right now. And also we set our heart to do it. Lord, we forgive them. We, we uh, speak them free. They don't owe us anything. They're completely off the hook. They don't even have to come and apologize to us, Lord, because we forgive them. And we love them. We bless them. And Lord, we give them to you. And so, Lord, thank you that we can forgive freely. You have forgiven us. And so, Lord, we can also freely then forgive every single one that has sinned against us. Doesn't matter what they did. Even if they abused or assaulted us or stole from us, Lord, it doesn't matter. We give them that money 
Lord, we release it to them and we forgive them completely, fully, wholly in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, thank you that you are the one that restores and that you will give back whatever the enemy has stolen from us seven times. And so, Lord, by faith, we come to you and with joy and we receive that restitution and that restoration that comes from your hand. Lord, now we want to come and deal with sin in our life. And Lord, uh, where we have been uh, not been obedient, uh, we uh, procrastinated, uh, we have habits that's ungodly, we have allowed to, to maybe watch news or media to come into our mind, uh, images that are not from you, maybe Lord we have spoken ill or we have uh, not shown the fruit of the Holy Spirit and everything that we've done become angry maybe or we didn't honor a father and a mother uh, we put something above you uh, lord we have stolen lied uh, committed adultery we were not faithful or coveted anything uh, lord we used your name in vain lord uh, we didn't obey uh, the holy spirit lord we want to repent of those things and so lord right now we turn away from that and lord we turn towards you we turn towards light lord we set ourselves to be led by the Spirit of God. And so, Holy Spirit, I ask, Lord, that you just come, that you wash us clean by the blood of Jesus, Lord, and that you come and you fill us again with life. And so, Lord, we breathe in the life of God. Thank you, Lord, that we can stand before you righteous and whole. And so, Lord, you take our iniquity and you take that garments from us and you wash us clean. And so, Lord, even as I'm going through this process, Lord, I just see how you transition us out of the natural realm into the courts of heaven and how you take your, um, you, you send your angels and they take from us garments uh, that's filthy of our lives, Lord, and you put on clean robes of righteousness, clean linen, white linen on us, and Lord, you restore crowns back onto each one that are here. And so, Lord, uh, we present ourselves in your courts. And Lord, thank you that you rebuke the enemy on our behalfs. And Lord, that you and you clean us and you wash us clean from all transgressions and iniquity in our lives. And so, Lord, thank you that we can stand clean and holy before you. All right, so that was kind of the first process. And that's important. You know, when we enter into the presence of God, there's always this issue with I feel unholy and I feel weak. And so that's why we, we, we have no other choice but to apply the blood of Jesus. And our access is Jesus. And so that's why we want to just go through this process of repentance. And I probably could have in the beginning just had a step, step right into the courts of heaven. But even as I started to repent, I could see in the spirit how we all transition into the courts and so it was not my plan but that's where we ended up because that's actually really the right way to do it okay so now we've repented so the next step is we want to step through jesus as our gateway of first love so what i want you to do is i want you to see how you stand in the 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 room of your heart is a throne room in the middle is a throne uh, jesus is supposed to be seated on a throne and then you're supposed to be seated in jesus and out of that throne flows a river so you while you're in that room of your heart you can actually feel that mighty rushing river the river of glory that flows out of your life okay and i want you to look at all the doors in your in your heart if you see any doors open that's not the door of glory i want you to open it right now so some of you might have a door in your in your heart of rejection or fear and anger bitterness um shame um uh, maybe anxiety could be open um Let's see, uh, sexual immorality uh, could have opened up a door, lust could have opened up a door in your heart. And so we, in fear, we just come before the Lord. And Lord, we just close every one of these doors. Greet, Lord, we close it before you today, uh, that door of bitterness and fear. Lord, every single one of those doors, Lord, we just close it. We just say, Lord, uh, Holy Spirit, help us uh, to be gatekeepers in our lives. And the only door that we want to have open in our spirit, man, is the gateway of first love and so jesus we declare that you are our first love and so we open up the gate of first love and so lord uh, the the glory flows into our heart through the gateway of first love and then it flows through us through revelation fear of the lord uh, prayer worship faith hope yeah all of those gateways of the spirit lord 
uh, but uh, uh, Lord, first of all, Lord, is that that gateway to the glory of God. And so, Jesus, that's why we declare that you are our first love. And so, what you just do, stand in front of the door and say, Jesus, you're my first love. Put your hand on the handle and just open it up. And so, Jesus, I open up the, the gateway of first love in my heart. And then the moment I open it up, I just see the streaming in like of a current of your glory of your light of your love and then in that door stands jesus and then he comes in and the moment jesus comes into your heart he just takes his arm and he takes it around you and he embraces you and he holds you and he just tells you you are my child i love you and then he just holds you and he embraces you and even as he embraces you his, his fire and his love just penetrates and just goes right through and everything in you is changed because you connected your life to life, to eternal life. And I want you to look in his eyes. You can see that fire, that fire of his love and his passion in his eyes. And so, Lord, thank you that we can look into your eyes even as we open up this gate. Okay, now that we, 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 we have a gate open, Jesus stands there and says, come with me. And he takes your hand and he walks with you through the gate where first love into the realm of heaven and so lord even as we walk with you in the realm of heaven lord we can just experience the glory and the presence and we just feel light it's as if we came out of a place where there was oppression and where there was demonic forces and now we into a realm where there's just open freedom no oppression no fear no lack nothing it's just amazing and so jesus we walk with you in this realm of heaven and then jesus uh, as we walk you say to us that you want to take us to the father and and we just have an excitement in us about the father and so we walk with you past the river and as we walk past the river we see a little bridge and you walk with us onto that bridge and we look across that beautiful river and we see the grass the trees we hear the sound of the wind and the rushing rushing of that water as it flows and you say, well, we can, can just proceed to the garden where the Father is. And so as we walk into the garden, there we can see the Father. And the Father is there, he's full of glory, he's shining, he's radiating. His skin looks like a mat of diamonds that's full of fire. And it's also a blue color. But it's all the colors of the rainbow is kind of going like waves over his skin. And his face is just full of love. It's like a fiery love from the Father. And even as you come and stand next to the Father, you, it's just as if you feel uh, an embrace of the power and the fire of God. And so, Lord, as we come and stand here by you, it's so wonderful to be with you here in a garden. And, Lord, just being close to you, Lord, we just feel like a... A thousand times magnification of your love as as your love that radiates out of, out of you just embraces us and just gives us that affirmation that we are your child and that you are our father and so lord you want us to be a friend and lord i can feel in you a yearning for us to be close to you and so lord i step closer to you and i just put my arm around you and you put your arm around me like a child that embraces the father lord so you come and you embrace me and so father i just put my arm around you i rec receive your love thank you lord and i just see as as we stand next to the father that he smiles over us. Well, thank you for your smile. Your eyes, I also smile. And even as I stand next to the Father, I can see how a crown appears above my head. The crown wasn't always there, but it just magically disappears. And there's a crown. And it's a crown of righteousness, a crown of life. I am a child of God and I carry His righteousness and His life upon me. Lord, thank you. Thank you that I could spend this time with you in the garden. I can experience your love and the joy that radiates out of you. 
and say, Lord, I will come back to spend more time with you. Lord, thank you that you made a way so that I can understand the pathway to come to you where you are in the garden. And I look forward to every day come here and just spend a few minutes with you. Everything in my life has changed and I feel a new fire and a new life in me. I love you. I love you. I love you. And the Father is just resonating all of that back to you. I love you. I love you. I affirm you. You're my child. And he invites us to come back and back and back again. Thank you, Father. So we just slowly back away, but we keep facing the Father, and then we walk across the bridge, and there's Jesus, big smile, he puts his arm around us and say, is that not amazing to meet the Father? And we walk with him. Jesus, you are our first love. Thank you that you help us to come to the Father. And we just walk through Eden. We experience the amazing colors and the the presence of what's in Eden. And we walk through our gateway into our heart. And Jesus sits on the throne of our heart and we sit in him. And then he opens up that sluice gates for the glory of God to flow through our lives. And it flows into our circumstance and everything in our lives is being changed because of this greater level of glory that's flowing through us. And then I hear Jesus say to us, because you were willing to go to the Father, He can open the sluice gates of the river of the glory of the Father even a little bit more because we became one with Him. And so therefore He can release more of the glory through our lives into this natural realm. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Was that not an amazing activation? God is so good. God bless you.